Hello friends, in this video we are going to be discuss about how to solve the images are not loading in extend report. So in this case, after generating the extend report, we have seen broken images in the report. So going back to Eclipse, so already I explained part 1 and part 2 video. In part 1, I have explained how we can generate the basic HTML extend report. In part 2 video, I have explained how we can generate the extend report with TestNG. In both cases, I have implemented add screen capture method. There, I have called screenshot name also. But anyway, the second part 2 also, we have seen that, that add screen capture. But anyway, after executing this both cases, we have seen broken images in this report. So this is the basic HTML report. Here you can see we have seen broken image. And also when I am going to be executed with the test ng in extent report also, we have seen broken image, right? But uh, we know, right? When we are using this add screen capture, you should capture the screenshot, but it won't work here. Okay, what is the solution? This is what I'm going to be tell you in this part 3 video. Okay, now what I'm going to be do, I just going to be create another one class file, which is uh, extend test ng screenshot issue. Okay, so here I have created class file. So now what I'm going to be do, I'm going to be copy this whole class file, which is available in part two video, okay? Because I don't want rework again, I just copy and paste simply like that. Paste it, I just close this one, okay? I'm going to be save it. So now what I'm going to be do, Already I have two report. I'm going to be remove these two things. Okay, anyway, you can keep it this one. I just rename here. Uh, extend. Extend. Screenshot issue dot HTML. This is the report name. Okay, I am going to be save it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to be run this one. Run as test ng test. So the execution has completed. Now I'm going to be refresh it. So now we can see this both report should have broken images alone. Let us check. This is also having broken image part one. Part two report also having broken image. Part three which is same as part one. Sorry part two also. Here also we have seen broken image right. Now I'm going to be close all this report. Okay, anyway, already I used add screen capture, right? But it won't work here. So in that case, what I'm going to be do, after test, I'm going to be create one method, which is public void capture screenshot. So in this method only, I'm going to be implement how we can take screenshot concept here, okay? So for creating screenshot, we should use concept which is file one, source and destination. From where you are going to be generate the screenshot, that screenshot where to going to be placed there. This is what source and destination. In Java, with the help of file class, we can able to done the read and write operation. Okay, so it will be reading the screenshot and that screenshot going to be right into the report. Okay, this is what I'm going to be implement here. So after creating this uh, empty method, inside method I'm going to be called first file. After typing file, you should press control space bar at the same time. You will be get the succession list. There you have to choose java.io. This is the right package file you should implement here. Okay, so here you have to create uh, object for file this one as a source because first we have to know where we are going to be generate the screenshot okay 
So, there is one interface we are using in Selenium for generating the screenshot. That interface name is takes screenshot. Using this interface only, we are going to be generate this screenshot. Okay. Now, open, uh, now you can type as takes screenshot. After typing this partial character, should press control space bar. Then you will be get this Amazon, uh, interface. You just implement here. Close this one and before you can open. So now we, we are open and close down this one. Okay. Again you have to open here also. Give space. Here you have to call the web driver object. We didn't create any web driver here. See. Go out this top of the class. I didn't create any web driver object. So now what I'm going to be do, I'm going to be use this web driver alone inside this capture screenshot, right? In that case, I'm going to be pass as a parameter here, web driver, driver. So now give space after closing this take screenshot, I'm going to be call this web driver object. Now I'm going to be close because this take screenshot interface always work with this web driver object interface alone okay put dot then you have to use get screenshot as using this method only here you can see that output type that file going to be generated here okay so here you have to which format you want output type output type i want i want as a file so here you can see file bytes day 64 here i'm going to be choose file one okay i just close it so now we have to define it source one okay so this is what next i'm going to be create a destination where you are going to be place this screenshot so we should place this screenshot in report and alone also right so again i'm going to be create file create this one I'm going to be create object for this one destination. Okay. Now I'm going to be create new file. Okay. Here you can see string. You should choose this string one. Okay. We are going to be pass as a string. Here I'm going to be give the screenshot name. Okay. Images or capture or screenshot. So you should uh, give PNG or JPEG format okay double quotes here i have to give screenshot dot png okay now we have to done source under destination so next i'm going to be take absolute path of the screenshot so in that case there is one method is available in java get absolute path using that method we have to take this destination path so string okay file path equal destination dot get absolute path okay this method will help you for taking this path the destination path okay next now we are done source and destination where are going to be right over here so using file utils file utils we have to done that job file utils dot copy see here you can see copy directory copy file so here you have to choose this one file input and output okay you just use this one here what is the source i'm going to be take this source i'm going to be place as a file path destination sorry now you have to add this throws declaration so i'm going to be return this file path okay 
so if you want to return this file path here you have to make it as a string okay so it will be written this file path anyway for the string purpose i just going to be print here what is the path it will be here okay destination path file path okay so now we done how we can capture the screenshot method okay so now what i'm going to be do inside add screenshot capture before this i'm going to be call this method okay because this method going to be find where exactly i'm going to be place this screen.png okay because this method uh, does not find which path so for taking the path and with the help of this take screenshot interface only we can able to generate the screenshot and where we have to place that path also here we have provided right but these things we didn't provided inside add screen capture so that reason this add screen capture alone does not work now what i'm going to be do remove this double quotes have to use capture screenshot driver so anyway we should define the driver in global variable static web driver driver okay so you should add throw declaration okay so now inside add screen capture we are called this capture screenshot driver let us see whether the screenshot properly loaded or not okay let us we have to check so what is the report name extend screenshot issue dot html so before also we have to generate it i'm going to be delete this one okay now i'm going to be run this test ng test i'm going to be refers this one open the screenshot issue html we didn't find that screenshot broken image also because before this part 1 and part 2 uh, report having this broken image but this third screenshot issue html does not having that broken image also so what is the problem here let's go back to the test ng class file because here we are define at web driver 1 this web driver we didn't called anywhere here which means this all the test log which is not interconnected with any driver i am going to be show you so now what i am going to be do i am going to be create another one class file so test ng or else uh, you just copy this screenshot issue also copy i'm going to be copy this whole class paste it and i'm going to be rename here okay remove this okay test ng test ng driver okay open this class you can leave it as before test and after test so which is important the main hot part which is the test part here only we need to do some changes what changes we have to do so normal selenium code we have to implement here we didn't find any selenium code here what is the selenium code driver dot get this kind of functionality we should implement because this driver does not touch with anything here right then how the screenshot will be generated it won't generate right so in that case I'm, what i'm going to be do i'm going to be remove this all those things leave it this alone here i'm going to be update so already i have i'm just going to be copy that one okay this one copy so here paste it 
so now you have seen the web driver it is touched with this test part right which is means set property i'm called this chrome driver and i'm launching the chrome driver here and uh, i'm going to be check this uh, get title it will be equals enter or not if it is not equal it should be fail if it is fail uh, it will be added that info and also it will be generate the screenshot okay this is what now what i'm going to be do uh, so here i'm going to be execute again okay so uh, please make sure there is no screenshot here now i'm going to be execute now right click on run as test ng test chrome driver has been started launch the application okay it will be done but anyway it won't close because i didn't implement any driver dot close here okay now i'm going to be generate i'm going to be reference this one here see the screenshot dot png it will be updated here this image see but anyway we need to check whether this report having screenshot or not open see the screenshot will be updated you got my point uh, what i'm trying to tell here because this first class file this test part does not touch with any driver function okay simply we are defined the java code which is uh, i'm going to be check the if, uh, if part alone that equals strings or not but i didn't call any driver dot get title or driver dot find element i didn't do anything this kind of work right so driver web driver only going to be uh, check with web applications but there is no space for touching with web driver right so that reason this capture screenshot does not work because this capture screenshot uh, calling us that's a web driver object only right in that case you just ignore this one come to here so whenever you are using this driver dot get title you have to touch with the web driver that time this capture screenshot will be work with inside add screen capture you got my point if you are not doing anything simply have to provide that add screen capture alone it won't work okay if i gave uh, okay i just going to be remove this one okay i just remove it okay anyway now i have to implement driver dot gate simply i'm, I'm going to be provide uh, screen dot png alone this time it work or not i need to check let us see i'm going to be execute now say so again the chrome driver has been launched because the web driver touch up this web application the execution has done here now i'm going to be refresh this project still i didn't find the screen dot png it won't generate it because if you are implementing the driver also okay if you are uh, keep this add screen capture alone it won't work because with the help of take screenshot alone we can able to generate the screenshot okay i just put on control is it now coming back to this capture screenshot path okay here i have provided screenshot dot png okay if you are give like this way also or else i just copy this one you just provide simple this way also or else so what is this my project right uh, now i'm going to be right click okay or else you have to create one uh, folder okay or else uh, press start put okay target inside target i'm going to be create uh, okay i don't want mm, here right click on target go to properties okay uh, here what i'm going to be do copy this path which is partial path no need to take the whole location you just to take this path okay you just close it come to here you just to remove this uh, png name alone there you have to double quotes put slash give 
so now i'm going to be provided partial path after target put slash screenshot dot png here you can see this target folder it was empty right does not generate anything now what i'm going to be do i'm going to be give some exact path where i'm going to be generate screenshot this is what i gave here now i'm going to be execute this test ng let us see the screenshot has been generated or not now i'm going to be refresh it so see expand this target here you can see screenshot.png it will be generated right so here you can give the path which is the like this way give the uh, i don't want exact path uh, you just simply create the screenshot you have to update uh, end of this uh, project alone means you have to provide like this manner if you want to the exact path where exactly you are going to be create screenshot in that case you should give this kind of path okay anyway it will be work this both things it will be updated screenshot in the report also okay so this is the way you should create a um, uh, screenshot going to be update with extend report for avoiding the broken images okay i'm going to be show you the palm.xml anyway you will be get it no see i'm going to be implemented i called selenium and commons.io relevant code which is the extend report so this is the basic extend uh, version i implemented the commons which is uh, already i explained in my video which is file it is copy file problem so for using file it is you should call this commons io dependency then only the file utils will be supported here okay so this is the things uh, i'm going to be tell you here how you can generate the capture screenshot again i'm going to be tell you the one thing so you should create this method this method will return this file path okay uh, i'm going to be show you the one console see this is the path see this destination path okay so now come to here this is the destination path this capture screenshot will return the exact destination path this path only we are going to be updated inside add screen capture method okay with the help of this path only this add screen capture going to be created the screenshot and as well as going to be update the screenshot inside extend report okay thank you guys this is the way you should uh, use for taking screenshot uh, for avoiding the broken images okay thank you bye